Hey everyone, it's CNC Keith again. Hey, today I'm here to talk about how the cycle start button works. I've had a few users express concern that when they press the cycle start button here on the virtual control panel, that's the green button, that it starts the job right away and you get automatic motion as soon as you press the cycle start button. For a lot of newbies and guys that are just getting going, that's a little shocking to have uh, the motion happen right away with the cycle start button. Although that is the primary purpose of the cycle start button is to start this G-code program. Let me demonstrate what we're talking about. Um, I'm in runtime graphics mode right now, so if I hit cycle start, you can probably hear the motors and you can see it's just running this job. I just press cycle start one time and it's running the job. Well, there is a different way that you can control the way the cycle start button actuates and works. And I'm going to demonstrate that. Let's go check this out. I can make it so that I have to hit cycle start two times before I get automatic motion. Let's go setup, config. I'm going to type in the password 137 and I'm going to go to control. And I'm going to come down here to where it says jog panel required. And I'm going to switch that to yes and press F10. Now let's see what happens. I'm going to press cycle start once. And notice we did not get any automatic motion. It's sitting here waiting for me to hit cycle start again before it goes and runs the G-code program. And there it goes. So I'm going to hit escape again and I'll just show you the G-code view. I'm going to hit cycle start once. Let me get out of runtime graphics. Run, get runtime graphics off. And this will be G-code view. Cycle start once, loads the job. And cycle start again starts running the job. And let's look at the difference if I go back and change the jog panel required to no and press F10. Now, cycle start once just starts running the job. So that's the two different ways to set it up. Uh, I thought you all would find that useful. Talk to you later. Bye bye.